Tomorrow, Jackson Center Volleyball will take the court at the Nutter Center in the state semifinals, making the school's third appearance in the state tournament. 27-1 Tigers have only dropped three sets all season, and those came in a loss to Fort Warmie. But on Saturday, Jackson Center avenged that lone loss, knocking off the defending state champs in straight sets. This week's OIO Prep Profile highlights Aaron Metz, one of nine seniors riding high after punching their ticket to state. It was just so exciting. It was a thrill because we were just looking forward to it, especially they were the only team that beat us during season. and. So like that really lit a fire in us and we were ready to play. With this amazing season winding down, Mets is cherishing every moment. I'm really playing on emotions since any game could be my last game here and it just all means a lot. And so to get as far as I can and this whole week we, we got to practice as much as we could, which is awesome. We haven't done it before and can't wait to play on Friday. Erin is a true leader. That would have to be the best thing that she does. She is a, a leader. Her passion uh, is phenomenal out on the court. A great example. And she's really kind of kicked it in as far as, as her net play. Clearly, Erin and her teammates are having a blast. Metz leads the team with 46 blocks this season, and she's a leader on the court who always puts the team first. I can bring a lot of energy to the court when we play in, like, help bring momentum and help get their heads up when we're down and I'm not always the biggest asset on the team but energy wise I can help encourage them. She actually came to me at a give at a point during one of our matches and just said coach Metz my serves are not as strong as what the other server is let her serve. I think that is a humbling point of a leader to put their team ahead of them and to make sure that their priorities are in the right place. It's been a team effort to make it all the way to state. And now with two more victories, Erin can fulfill a dream that's been a long time in the making. We were managers ever since we were little, like all my teammates, we've all grown up around it and we've planned this since third grade. We've always been on the same team and we always just want to get another banner up on the wall. So. It would mean the world. This is something that I have dreamed of since I was in high school. All 17 of these kids have given us the opportunity to be where they are. And yes, Aaron's a big key in that. It would mean the world to me to just be able to uh, bring that trophy home and, uh, and have these kids really solidify the hard work. In Jackson Center, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.